Welcome back to the Boosted Ride YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on the big block Chevy motor for Death Trap and currently we're headed over to my parents place to go with my brother to pick up our brand new trailer. Well new to us but we'll check it out here in just a moment. Well, there it is. Our new triple car gooseneck trailer. It's an older trailer, obviously, as you can see here. It's got a little bit of rust coming down the frame, but nothing we can't patch. I don't know if I mentioned, but it had new tires on it, but they've been sitting, this has been sitting for probably four or five years, so I believe the tire on the other side up front has actually got a bad uh, what I want to say, belt in it. Yeah, otherwise it's in pretty decent shape for the most part. A little bit of rust up and down the ramp. Yeah, this one here is just kind of out of round. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out something as far as tie downs. It's got ramps up under the bottom there pinned in there I'm super excited this is gonna be good the tensions with this are to haul the death trap we can haul Goliath as well and if we want to take something if we're going to say Florida or Texas to a further away event and we want to take maybe a car or something to go with us in case we need parts runs or something like that we can do that A little bit off there. Hey. Oh, there you go. I bet you can push it. Come on. Driver. Driver. Jack it off better. Ow. Well, we need a better driver. Or a better instructor for getting it backed up. That too. Both. <laughs> Shoe buddy. shoe buddy. Can I get a shoe buddy? Shoe buddy. All right. Well, we're going to get hooked up here and we'll head back to the parents. But that is the new triple car hauler for hauling around our vehicles. So off to the next thing. Nothing. Nothing. Well, here you go before it gets too dark. Well, we don't need lights? No, light out. <laughs> we got a light outside. Well, I don't use the turn signals anyways. <laughs> we got plenty of light outside. What are we talking about? Is that Goliath mm. up there? Mm -hmm. That's for the... Uh, Kubota to go on. Kubota? Yep. That's <laughs> if you got to haul four vehicles. So when we got the whole fleet going. So I'm pretty excited about the new trailer. It does need some work. It's a little bit rusty in some areas, but for a first trailer for us and to be a three car hauler, it's a pretty awesome deal. So we'll make it work and maybe sometime in the future upgrade. We're not quite to the level of, you know, having nice stack of trailers and things like that, but maybe someday we'll get there. But at this point, it's going to be what it is. So. That's an update on the trailer. I think next we need to head over to my brother's shop. And it's getting late tonight, so maybe tomorrow we'll do that. We'll get some updates, progress on the motor. I'd like to do kind of a little montage of putting that thing together and getting it prepared for the dyno and pulling the motor out of the death trap here. So that way we got some footage of 
what we're doing progress wise on the truck and then we'll keep you guys up to date as well all right we'll continue from there All right, so as you see in those last clips, we went ahead and got the block uh, taped off, primed, and painted. Of course, we went with the Grabber Green. This is just an absolute quick coat of paint on there. Didn't spend in much time cleaning much up. You're not even going to see half of this anyways by the time you get the front motor plate on there, get the headers on there and everything. My brother is currently working on file fitting the rings for this, so that's going to be done, ready to go. He's doing that here. And I think next I need to open up our pistons and find our rods. I'm not sure where they went to. And we need to get, oh, there they are, all of our rods. And we need to get all this stuff cleaned up so that way it can be ready to go back together for final assembly and into the uh, motor here so we can complete a short block. That'd be my goal this weekend, have the short block done, and then we need to get the motor out so that way maybe next weekend we can put everything on, pull the computer, the harness, and everything out of death trap bring it over to the dyno and then maybe dyno next week and I don't think that's going to happen realistically but probably the following week we'll have a video out of dyno on the new motor. So let's go ahead and open up that stuff, get it all disassembled, cleaned and get it all set on the shelf so it can go together. Alright guys so it's a new day here at my brother's shop. Just wanted to update everyone where we're at. Like I said before the blocks all done ready to go. Went ahead and got all the main caps torqued down so we can take a bore gauge, check our bearing clearances. And over here, got all of the rods and pistons cleaned up, everything put together. This is a 456 bore with JE pistons and a 6385 rod. So all that's ready to go. We just need to check the bore right now and then we'll start putting the crank in, get the rods in and have ourselves a short block.
right, so all the rods, pistons are in the block. We're going to go ahead and flip this over, torque these down to 30 foot pounds plus 44 degrees with the torque wrench. So let's do that now. All right, so as you've seen there, we went ahead and got everything put together for the short block, including the cam installed. Do have to put the uh, back plugs, back cam plate in. And then the next thing we're working on is getting a cam card for that cam, because it was in that motor when we bought it. Not sure what it is, and to get the uh, new front cover on there, we're gonna need that. So the last few things I need to do is get some measurements for like our dry sump bracket here off of the motor plate so I can get some spacers made for on the dyno because we're obviously not going to run power steering pump or the alternator but I need to drive the dry sump pump and Bean's mine is mounted off of the frame it's going to be an issue on the dyno because obviously truck frames not there so that's where we're going to end this video the next one is going to be hopefully wrapping up I didn't show any clips but my brother is working on grinding the valves seats in the heads and a couple other things there the new guide is in as well and all that stuff but everything's looking good like i said got the cali's four inch crank in there we've got those oliver rods je pistons this should be a motor as long as we keep the oil pressure up on this one should last us a long time with general maintenance we'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned hopefully not the next video but the following video will be on the dyno making some power thanks again we'll see you in the next one